So Canadian Gundam is primarily a, a huge Gundam shop. And uh, we've been keeping a bit of a secret. We don't, you know, only carry Gundams. We do carry other uh, items as well. So I'm going to let you in on a bit of a secret. We're going to take you on this little journey here. Don't mind the mess. You know, still working on it. <laughs> we've been uh, hoarding something. And... I think it's time to reveal it and what a perfect day then May the 4th so let's go up here we have an employee that specifically does this takes care of some of our things here we go here's our secret All right, back at the shop again. So, it's been uh, a week probably since my last video. We got this skid in last week. We got that skid in last week. Um, this box came randomly. That box up there came in randomly. So, you know, <laughs> still haven't got to it. Things have been just kind of falling apart. <laughs> Not necessarily falling apart, but just uh, things have been really busy here. I haven't got any shelves up. Uh, I managed to plug in the Roomba there, best working employee ever. <laughs> Just uh, does a great job cleaning. Um, shop's still a mess. Let's see here. Did a huge screw up with these things. Uh, all these pre-orders came in. So especially the heavy arms, the Ultron, actually the tall geese. These guys, I, did, I, I guess I forgot to even pre-order so we don't even have any, unless I'm mistaken, I still gotta check the system. Uh, all of these pre-orders already went out, so these I guess are extra. If you are, did you, if you pre-ordered something like this, you didn't get a tracking number, let me know. Um, I am double checking the system constantly. We recently updated the system, so uh, it's should be fine. But you know, glitches in the matrix happen. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I did a massive screw up. I sent out an email saying, oh, all these pre-orders are going out. Turns out the shipment that I received, I got too excited, sent out the email and turns out I got a third of what I was supposed to get. So that's embarrassing. Uh, I made myself look stupid. I sent out an email saying, Hey guys, you know, should have counted before sending out that email to make sure everything came in. So the next shipment is supposed to be about a month from now, which is unfortunate. So I did offer, hey guys, if you want a refund or anything like that, uh, or swap it out for something else, you don't want to wait anymore. It's been a long time and it's such an unfortunate thing to happen with uh, with what's going on in the world. Shipping has just come to, you know, it is what it is. Uh, because of the shipping method we chose, some of the things got damaged. So these four have problems like this. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. So that's an unfortunate situation as well. Um, we A lot of these actually came out, but it's just a few of the boxes just got dinged up uh, pretty bad. Of course, these guys. Um, if you don't, if you do have a heavy arms pre-order, it didn't ship out and you don't mind some damage, we can uh, swap it out for one of these guys. Everything inside is fine. It's just the box has like a bit of a crease to it. Let me see. Yeah, like... Everything in here is fine. I mean, we'll double check it before we send it out. But if you are interested, you have a pre-order for, let's like, say, a Heavy Arms or an Ultron, then, uh, let me check these ones. yeah, just send us an email and uh, we'll probably give you a bit of a discount on it too. Um, you know, actually in the comments, what do you think uh, the discount should be? Keep in mind, uh, I don't think you can get these anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, so that was a very much unfortunate thing and you know i'm not uh, gonna hide from it it was a stupid mistake and definitely a learning experience i'm not going to be sending out emails too quickly next time we got a lot to do today we got a lot of packages we're going to do uh, a video day today so oh actually one more thing we got this pry well this one needs to go because it's just in the way <laughs> and uh that was just the first cleanup and then i sent out the Roomba. i didn't want to send out the Roomba when we had like pieces of wood and stuff stuck on the ground 
Um, this is a massive uh, private warehouse. Got it all together. Let's take a look here. Everything is in uh, wicked condition, no problems. Until I got to the Moon Gundam. And unfortunately this got missed when it was put away. I don't know how, but yeah. So I'm gonna reach out to the customer, see if he still wants this one uh, and offer him a discount. So yeah, guys, in the comments, what do you think? What do you think about the P Bandai that you can't really get anymore, that I'm aware of anyways? And uh, what kind of discount should we offer on something like this too? So I haven't reached out to the customer yet. I'm probably gonna do that today and uh, get this shipped out for him. But uh, yeah, in the comments below, very interested to uh, see. You know, last time I asked something like that, it went from zero to 100%, <laughs> so all over the place. But uh, let's get picking orders. Uh, we got about 100 or so today, so let's get them through or get through them. Some of them are huge, some of them are small. They were kind of all over the place. Uh, and then the goal is to get to this and start taking this apart. We got Mr. Hobby stuff, a ton of it, and then uh, restock that hasn't happened yet. Hopefully we can get this all taken apart, put on the site this weekend and uh, get it out there. Also, get these stickers out for that new uh, shipment. So lots to do today and uh, let's get started. All right, so after a very, very long time, I pulled this private warehouse, which is still incomplete. Um, and this has maybe opened my eyes to, uh, putting, unfortunately, limits on private warehouses. This is just a small fraction of the private warehouse that dates back to 2019. <laughs> um, I did, uh, reach out to the customer, letting him know, Hey, it, this is going to take us some time because we moved to the warehouse, uh, in 2020, I believe it was, so or just about 2020 and um yeah uh, so things got moved around a lot so this is uh and it's not uh we have actually quite a bit of customers that are actually back to back now all of a sudden everybody wants their private warehouse ship now here's the problem this took me quite a long time to even get it like this i could have shipped probably about 20 or 30 orders in this time um again items from 2019 that moved have been sitting for two years and then moved to a new location and could have been destroyed or misplaced somewhere uh it's uh, sort of becoming a problem so i'm gonna have to rethink this no limits no time frame and stuff like that especially when it becomes this big or it becomes so long that we misplace the item or something happens to it it gets crushed someone falls on it it falls behind uh something and it's uh <laughs> It's sitting in plain sight, but it's uh, not uh, uh, not being able to be found, I guess you can say. But uh, there's a few a few perfect grades. We still haven't picked a bunch of boneyard items that are missing. Um, yeah. So I'm going to put this off to the side. Uh, there's uh, two or three more private warehouses like this, which... Uh, I, I do sincerely appreciate it. Don't get me wrong. I really appreciate... Uh, uh, purchasing from us and ordering this much stuff but when it becomes kind of detrimental i make a few people happy and then piss off 30 or 40 customers because their orders haven't been shipped yet it be it starts becoming a problem so i don't know i uh, oh, actually guys what do you think should i keep it uh, the way it is and like i honestly this is the thing with business you have to make decisions on what is in the best interest of the company um pleasing a few people or pissing off a lot of people like you know, I don't know. It's uh, maybe this rant doesn't make any sense, but it's just another issue for today <laughs> on top of this one, which really annoyed the hell out of me. I, I'm really upset about this and it's just and then I have this problem next <laughs> and then a few more like this coming up. So um, maybe I got to stay up, uh, stay one of these days in and stay till 9 p.m. and uh, get these big, massive private warehouses uh cleared out but uh anyways i'm gonna put this off to the side where i can find i don't know some kind of room because we seem to not have a lot of room and uh just going on and on anyways let's get to shipping all right so we got the private warehouse down here it's kind of sort of organized but obviously i'm gonna have to redo it uh just leaving it here for now till you know i'm probably gonna stay up 
tonight, tomorrow night, trying to figure this all out. I guess the problem with this is that I'm upset that there's certain items that I just cannot find. They are here. It's just, you know, we still because we moved so quickly, things haven't been unpacked. Like uh, we came in here and we just started. If you look at our past videos, we kind of just started. I had to make shift shelves quickly and just 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 to keep the business going uh, without any delays. But uh, uh, speaking of that, uh, I put out the question: uh, Should we ship pre-orders as soon as they arrive? So they kind of came unannounced, which is not typically how it, th that works. I so. I, I had to stop it there. I just got a phone call uh, from an upset customer. Uh, turns out, so we had something ship. Uh, it was heading towards California. Uh, the tracking number was supposed to arrive on the 27th of April. I think it's May 4th today. And uh, on the tracking number, I guess they updated it saying it won't be delivered till May 4th. But I mean, it's jumping around everywhere from here to Chicago to back to this and then back to Chicago. And it's just like a bit of a nightmare. I totally understand. I mean, when you see stuff like that, it's late. It's in the wrong state. <laughs> it's just a whole bunch of things. This is not a good video day today. <laughs> this is terrible. Uh, but I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe I'll release it. It's It's just one of those things. It's like when it's good everything is good and i'm happy and i'm pulling orders and it's awesome we're playing music in here but when it goes bad it's just bad my plan was not even to talk to talk about any of these things my plan was just to pull orders and just have a blast <laughs> uh filming you saw the beginning of the video so um yeah so that's another you know i'm already upset about this upset about that one i'm upset about the phone call now uh, pre-orders actually I did something good I know a lot of people said oh you should ship prioritize uh, pre-orders before the regular orders uh, so in this situation it worked out great for me because 13 well, of course 13 um, that's why this shipment is all messed up anyways uh, 13 people had to change their addresses because this was a pre-order almost like six months to a year old so 13 lucky individuals and I was talking I'm talking high valued uh, shipments would have went to the wrong address and now I I can't even begin to imagine uh, the ramifications of that. Some of these orders were 400 plus dollar orders. So what we did was we sent out an email saying, hey, you know, where these things are here, we're going to ship them out. And uh, 13 people came forward and not forward uh, emailed saying, oh, my God, I changed my address type of thing. So. Thank you for letting me know that you changed your address. And uh, luckily, I think we got it all figured out. But uh, so in that situation, it works. Normally, we know, oh, there's a shipment coming, bunch of pre-orders. We send out an email. Uh, well, the plan is always to send out an email for that specific reason, whether you have to change your address or you want to, your situation just changed or something. At least this way, it gives uh, people enough time to send us an email and let us know what's going on. <sighs> Having said all that, um, uh, I got to end this pity party. Let's pull out the iPad and let's see what's going on. All right, so here's the first order. Honestly, it's turning my day around. Uh, can we get two stickers? They did order two stickers. We're placing an order and it's for my boyfriend and I, uh, which is f like, that's, that's super cool. I know it's one per order, but uh, we're just hoping. You know what? I'm going to do one better because my day has been such garbage. Uh, I'm going to hook you guys up with, uh, more than just that. So nice, easy order for, uh, <laughs> after all of this. <laughs> so let's go grab this. Let's see. 102. I'm going to figure this out. Okay. What was the first one? Oh yeah. So let's grab a Mew first. Mew. There we go. Perfect. We're going to need, oh, uh, see, I got to clean this stuff up too. I can't even get around. 66 awesome oh ow that hurt we're gonna need a couple of decals so let me pull out my decal box these are just more organized uh there's a ton i got decals galore <laughs> so let's see here we need 84 and 102 so let's see here we got the 102 right here Let's pull this out. Voila. And 84, I believe it was. 87. 84. 
And you know what? Having such a bad day. Let's go over to the desk here. So we're going to need one, two. These are technically not released yet, but one and two. <laughs> there you go. I'm already feeling better. All right. Let's get these decals away. Put them away anyways. And uh, go on to the next one. The next order we got to pick is huge. Uh, it's Kevin from Wisconsin and uh, looks it's big but it's very manageable so let's go grab the UC's first so we need 69 7 195 50 56 all right sorry about that you guys gonna remember that well I guess you guys can't really help me out uh, I think there was a seven <laughs> um uh oh <laughs> I need the iPad. Okay, I got it. I got it this time. All right. Just need to refocus, regroup type of thing, and uh, start picking orders. I'm going to need one more. What was it? 195? Oh, last one. Got this stack going. And get this in queue. We're gonna need to grab the rest of them, I believe, are real grades. So let's get this down and move on. And after double checking, we're gonna need Uno. Oh, there's a nice stack here. We can just play off of one of these guys. Oh no, there was one more. Let's see if I could just walk around and remember. You know what? You shouldn't waste too much time. Let's see if we can. Ah, 23. Oh, last one, too. So, let's see if I can do this. Just like that. Here we go. I'm going to put this there. One more thing. We're going to need a sticker. You know what? I'm going to be handing the both stickers out today. It's just one of those days, so everyone's going to get one of each. Turn the day around. We got Justin. Please ship my private warehouse. After a private warehouse, it's just like having a bad day with private warehouses. But uh, may you uh, you may show off my order. Uh, I do builds on Twitch, and there's the Twitch uh, channel. So check that out and keep up with the amazing warehouse uh, YouTube videos. Uh, amazing service. Ma love many Canadian builders. Love many Canadian builders. Sorry about that. Uh, let me check this out before. Uh, <laughs> hopefully it's nothing crazy. So we got two private warehouses, one new order, six items in total. The way private house or private warehouses were intended to be. <laughs> so let me grab these for you. We got Justin's order. First private warehouse, these two. Second private warehouse, these two. And we just got to grab the most recent order. We're going to need... Uh, number five op and we're going to need one of these guys oh there's one right here why is it over here anything wrong with it mm. you know what we'll put that there i don't know i'm probably not seeing very good today we're gonna get you a fresh one Smell that? Oh, fresh. <laughs> and uh, there we go. Well, wait a minute. We lost something. Where's that other kid? Um, oh, there it is. Now we're good to go. All right, Justin. On to the next one. All right, so here's Cole's order, and uh, he's got a bit of a backstory. I tried to do this on camera a couple of times and I, I'm just going to give up. So I Googled Google Cloud text to speech and uh, here we go. If it gets packed on a video day, use it in the video. Bit of a story here. Grabbing the real grade unicorn full armor, 30 for a bit of a story. Before the pandemic, I got one for Christmas from somewhere on the west coast of the US. Arrived extremely damaged. Top box was intact, but a forklift fork or something skewered the bottom, breaking up most of the runners and nailing the B runner. 
Amazon got wishy-washy and nothing was done about it. So a few weeks ago I pulled it out and inventoried all the parts. Some damage, can fix those with a 3D printer and tools. But the B-Runner was twisted around like a pretzel, bit harder to fix. So with you guys getting it back in stock with the standard unicorn of plan was formed. Standard gets all the weapons out of the old kit to go full arm, but in red. Leftover bits might be used to make a battle damage one, who knows. And uh, that's uh, Cole's thing. You know what? I couldn't have said it any better myself. <laughs> so Cole, uh, crazy story. Uh, and glad we were able to, oh, I can't show you too much stuff. And uh, here's Cole's order. So let's go grab it. The very next order, we got uh, Justin, and uh, he ordered the one kit, but he probably warehoused it. Just wanted to be in the video, and uh, it lined up. So, Justin, uh, we got it. Actually, you know what? Let me show you where these things are. Uh, I don't think I've taken you back here before. Or maybe I have. I don't know. There's still, uh, see, you still have to unpack these kits. What else is in here? We got some air. Now uh, we got an LED in yellow. We got a bunch of these guys sitting here. These were in the Jeep the other day, which uh, finally have made them made their way over here. What else we got? Just a whole range of stuff. Like I'm gonna spend. I'm gonna maybe close down the shop and just organize everything. And uh, I probably won't get anywhere. <laughs> uh, but here they are. Full weapon sets. Look at that. I think the Tall Geese 3, and then the 2. Those are probably not even on the website. Uh, gold frames. What else we got over here? A ton of stuff. Wow. See, I really have to get through. I, I finally have to sit down and get uh, through everything. Do we? No, no, no. That was Private Warehouse. But yeah, Justin, it's there. <laughs> the next one's going to be a mystery. Uh, so this is going to Belleville. Well, I don't know where it's going actually because I got this comment. Haven't gotten around to change my address with bank. I recently moved. So I checked the history and it's, the address has never been updated. So what does that mean? Do I ship it to the address that they provided or is there another address? I don't know. <laughs> this is going to have to, uh, give this person a call and kind of clarify what this all means. But, uh. What do you guys think? What, what, what would you do in this situation? Would you ship it to the address provided? Or would you, yeah, I guess give them a call. Because uh, here's the whole thing, you know. I bet there's going to be a lot of people, and I, I'm already, like, predicting this, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, there are going to be a lot of people saying, hey, no, that's the address they provided. Ship it. It's their problem, blah, blah, blah. Well, when you run a business, it's not their problem. It's... It's we need to be vigilant and the goal is whatever you order is to make it to you, even if you mess it up, <laughs> because we want you to have a great experience. So, um, you know, that, that I guess that's the whole thing. So I'm going to give this person a call, see if I can quickly figure this out so that I can uh, get this order shipped out as quickly as possible. So let's give them a call. So oh, unfortunately, they didn't pick up. Uh, so we're going to hold back the order. I know it's going to take an extra day, but you know what? It's better to be safe than sorry. You hold it back one day and it could save shipping to a random address that uh, is just, it's, this is better. Trust me. <laughs> but uh, next up, we got Logan. Uh, he's been watching our videos. He uh, saw some origin kits, checked the site, decided to put in his order and uh, uh, with us, which is awesome and uh, doesn't mind it being in the video. So let's go see what Logan ordered. So we got three kits and a sticker. So number 12, 7, and 56. Let's start grabbing these things. So <laughs> that's kind of funny. Let's see if we can do this. See, I got a nice little opening. Since this is blocked off by some Digimon, some skids, some paint. Now I just walk. Just got to watch my noggin and get under here. So first we need perfect 56. Um, number 12. And what was that last one? Oops. Let me go double check. And we got Logan's order in queue, plus he ordered one, and we're going to hook him up with a couple. So, on to the next one. All right, next up we got Robert, and he just wants to be in the video. Just no comment, would like to be in the video, and uh, please pull my kits. <laughs> uh, actually, I don't know. I, I think he requested my email, but, you know, it's uh, sometimes I just go through emails so quickly I forget uh, 
who says what, but uh, alrighty, I skipped uh, probably a bunch of it. I'm just gonna leave the iPad there. I'm gonna remember it. <laughs> um, and the first one is missing. What? Uh, see, we try and do nine, seventeen, twenty-eight, thirty-three. We need sixty. Ooh, out of order. So we need one of those. All odds are, we probably had some origin stuff over here, and it just got, uh, yeah, you know. A bit of a mess up, but not a big deal. Let me go get my ladder. My riggedy, trusty ladder. And actually, you know what? We're going to bring all of these down since uh, I'll just put them over here for now. Actually, we can bring these ones down. We can bring down actually quite a bit of stuff, but let's get packing first because uh, I'm going to have a cleanup day. That's going to be an interesting video. Oh, there's the next one right there. You guys, my iPad's trapped over there. Uh, what was... I think it was one of these guys. Maybe Destiny, maybe, was it? Uh, better, better check. What do we got here? No, no, not Destiny. Freedom. Yeah, Freedom. So, you guys remember the number? It's somewhere around here, that's for sure. Freedom. Freedom. And then the rest of the stack, minus the Destiny. And just need a sticker, and this one's good to go. All right, next up we got Ryan from Kingston. You guys are amazing and love this shop. Well, I do appreciate that. Love the videos, happy to see the warehouses coming along together. Uh, maybe your opinion might change after this video. And that's the thing. I'm not trying to hide things. I'm just showing you the way it is. It's not sunshine and rainbows every day. It's, you know, it is fun. Honestly, it is fun running around, grabbing kits, you know, having a ball, being surrounded even in the, all of these kits is just nuts. But, uh, you know, with the good, it, you have your really, it's like you have your really high, awesome days and you got your really low. And this one's a hard low today. But uh, I love showing it off. Anyways, back to Ryan's order. Uh, let's see here. Uh, if this lines up with video day. Uh, that would be great. Sorry for uh, <laughs> going to make you go, go all over the warehouse. Now I checked out his order. He has two orders. And yes, indeed, you're going to make me run around a little bit. But that's okay. You know, it's uh, I love kind of running around. It's it's a little bit of exercise anyway. So I'm going to have to do this off camera because it's just a bunch of little things. So 17 items. Then I believe it's four items, two different orders. So let's grab them. All right. This is uh, Ryan's order so far. And we're going to need one more. Just some allig alligator clips. Uh, they are right voila, here. I need 90. Is this 90? Look at that. I didn't even have to open anything. Oh, this was open anyways. Uh, they're all open anyways. Uh, yeah, a bit of a mess. This is our alligator section, <laughs> clip section. It does It's not only there. <laughs> we got another section over here. Uh, there you go. Some up here. You know, one day we're going to have this all organized. It's going to be amazing. My life is going to get a lot simpler. <laughs> but in the meantime, I got to ship your guys' order. Uh, if, you know... The thing that's going around uh, wasn't around. This would have been so much different probably. But uh, it is what it is. Ryan, just got to hook you up with the two stickers and you're good to go. So next up, we're pulling because, oh, well, we're, this is probably going to be the last one because the table's pretty much full. Uh, let's see here. Thank you so much. I, uh, I watched your channel and it led me to order from your site. Well, appreciate that. Thank you for the support. Uh, as finding Gunpla is hard right now, if this video, if it's video day, uh, could you feature my order? We definitely can. And yeah, there's some issues with Gunpla right now. I don't know if I'm going to get into it. Maybe obviously never wrong. It's already a bad day. I don't want to <laughs> make it worse, but uh, I got on Hunter's order right here. And it looks like the very first one is missing. Well, it's not missing. I just going to need, whoops, that's the wrong button the ladder because it is oh we got a ton of them up there <laughs> so we're gonna need that one 
the sword impulse which is right there and a couple of universal centuries so uh let me grab the ladder right back with old riggedy again all right let's grab this stack here bring it down Whoop. oh bring this down actually this is the next shelf that's coming down let's see here yeah so having these things up here won't make much sense soon oh no you ever have that feeling where you bit off too much then <laughs> oh no oh no okay <laughs> yeah that almost went terribly wrong um yeah so lost my trick <laughs> Old Riggedy almost got me. All right, so we're going to need these two. What else did I say? Oh, let me double check. I got it now. So let's get these uh, seated right here. And let's grab the other two. So we need a rouge. A rouge. And an extreme Gundam right here. Upside down. Perfect. So let's get these into queue. And this is gonna be the last order I pick for now. Let's get those ones that I've already picked shipped out. And then we just start the process all over again. So I'll catch you guys in a second. Well, that was a bit of an unfortunate situation. I guess my, the card was full and I wasn't recording. Well, that was an unfortunate situation. I guess the card was full, didn't realize, and I did a bunch of packages not knowing it was a recording. But, uh, I mean, on with the show, it's already been a rough day. Uh, I should have expected that. But in front of us, which I already pulled on camera, <laughs> but this is Alexander's uh, order. Um, he got a perfect grade. He got, uh, so this is a couple of private warehouses, actually a few of them. Pretty easy uh, pick. Uh, I did it on camera, but unfortunately, again, didn't save, which kind of sucks. Uh, so, but anyways, it magic it's here <laughs> we were actually on the on this one working on brandon's order which i already actually finished we have to get one deco and one sticker uh he wanted some stickers we'll hook him up with two just gotta grab the deco and then i just thought oh you know i just want to see how uh the filming is going because every so often i just want to see what's going on make sure it's not like fuzzy or anything and uh realized a lot of the video is gone so uh i mean it is what it is so uh, I guess we'll just continue on. It, the video thing, I got to clear it up. I had to delete a few. It, so I, I haven't been deleting the vi past videos that I've been making. It's like 30 gigs worth of stuff. Uh, so I got to fix that. All right, so I think I'm going to stop it there. So this was Alexander. It's going to Quebec. Uh, and this is Brandon. I can't cheat you guys. You guys made it somehow in the video. Uh, even though so many people missed out, which is super unfortunate. I do apologize for that. But, um... Uh, he ordered six uh, scene bases, and I decided in the, I mean, when I was bringing it over, I thought, oh, I'd just bring the whole box, because if I brought six of these things, it's just going to be a disaster. Let's open it up anyways. See? Oh, okay, well, it's got a lot more than six, but anyways, I'll just take six, put the rest of them back. Uh, we got the decal for Brandon. Uh, he is working on finishing his uh, team, uh, his Gundam team that I... I remember him saying, uh, sorry, I'm a little bit scattered because of that, but uh, Brandon, awesome. I uh, would love to see it when you get finished with it. And um, yeah, I would hate to end the video on like a, a note like that. I don't know. Uh, is there something I can turn things around? You know what? I actually have the next sticker. I'll show you a draft of it. So this is next month. First month second month and uh let me see if i can grab uh the third month let me know what you think in a second here we go guys the third month anyway sorry about this view a video being kind of lousy and just in a, you know with the good comes the bad and the bad goes uh, comes the good so hopefully uh more good than bad <laughs> but uh promise you guys is going to be a lot better uh in the future so make sure you subscribe like the video tell me your thoughts about all the questions i had so i'm gonna get back to shipping things so everyone else that uh, didn't make it into the video just uh keep an eye out for those tracking numbers and I'll catch you next time.